Welcome to a very special Cave Kids Clubhouse. Today we start our mini winter vacation Bible school and it's called Anchored VBS. An anchor, an anchor is a big heavy piece of metal that's attached to a heavy rope or chain to a ship. It holds the ship in one place even in the midst of wild waves. Sailors drop the anchor over the side of the ship and it rests at the bottom of the sea. That's why we're imagining what it would be like to be down in the beautiful, colorful, fish-filled bottom of the ocean this week. And that makes me wonder, if you could explore undersea, what would you most want to see? Hmm, how about an octopus, or the colorful coral reef, or maybe even sunken treasure? During these two days at BBS, uh, we'll all get to have an undersea adventure. And you don't even have to get wet. Well, at least I don't think you will. We'll start each day here at Music and More. Here we'll sing a little, we'll talk a little, and start our day with a splash of smiles. Everything we do at Anchor will help us celebrate God's faithfulness. What do you think of when you hear the word faithful? People who are faithful are dependable and you can trust them. They, well, they do what they say they'll do. So let's sing Never Let Me Go to celebrate that God is faithful to us. To sing a brand new song You opened up my eyes to see You rescued me Rescued me You showed the way when there was no way out Cleared up my mind when you erased all doubt You made me strong when I was weak You rescued me Have you ever been in a storm? You know, it can get a little scary at times, but we are generally surrounded by some fantastic people that keep us safe. Oh, did you hear that? It looks like there's a storm coming. Can you imagine being on a boat in a storm when it comes up? Well, in today's story, that's just what's going to happen. But someone was there to keep everyone safe, just like we're surrounded every day by God. God's faithful love for us surrounds us and supports us. It's something that we can hang on to. Well, like an anchor. 
God even sent his son, Jesus, to show that deep, that deep, deep love. So let's sing another awesome song about Jesus' deep love for us. Everything at Anchored will help us discover that God is faithful. And when you hear those words, God is faithful, anywhere during Anchored, you'll reach out your hand like this, holding, like you're holding onto a rope and shout, trust God. That's because we trust and hold tight to God's faithfulness. It's like an anchor for us. So let's try it. God is faithful. Trust God. Good job. Who are some faithful people in your life? Remember, we said that faithful, well, it means dependable or trustworthy. Trustworthy people who can do what they say. Can you think of anyone? Well, I can think of lots of friends. There are a ton of people that God places in our lives that are faithful. And well, if you look at that, God showed God's own faithfulness right there by giving you people like parents and friends and teachers and neighbors that you trust and care about. The Bible tells us this. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love endures forever. And endure means that it lasts. God's faithful love lasts forever and ever. That's definitely something to be thankful for, right? Yeah. And I'm so thankful that God loves us. God is on our side, even when things aren't seem to be against us. So let's sing about that now.
just don't understand God is for me When life doesn't go the way I planned God is for me When I just don't understand for now so you can get right into the Anchored VBS. But today we have a great story and a fun craft and then I'll see you right back here for our closing time. travels led him to Jerusalem. There the Jewish leaders brought up false charges against him, and Paul was taken prisoner and sent to Caesarea to stand trial before King Agrippa. Although King Agrippa found that Paul had committed no crime, because he was a Roman citizen and had appealed to the Roman Emperor, Paul was sent to Rome. Under the watchful eyes of Julius, a Roman officer, Paul and a number of other prisoners boarded a large sailing ship that would carry them to many port cities on the long journey to Rome. Once aboard the ship, Paul was led on a winding journey that took him from Caesarea to Sidon to Myra to Nidus, and then around the island of Crete, where they docked at a place called Fair Havens. Getting to Fair Havens had been a long and difficult journey. Winter was approaching, bringing with it dangerous weather and sailing conditions. Paul pleaded with the sailors and officers to stay on Crete. Paul warned them, Continuing this journey will bring disaster to our ship, cargo, and our own lives. We should remain here. Despite Paul's warnings, the officer in charge was persuaded by the ship's captain to find a safer place on the island of Crete where they could spend the winter. Soon after they set sail, what was a gentle breeze turned into hurricane-force winds that blew their ship far off course and out into the open sea. The sailors tried to control the ship, but nothing they did could put them back on course. Exhausted, the sailors secured the ship as best as they could with ropes and then let the storm drive them wherever it pleased. For many days, the ship sailed on raging seas under the black skies of the storm that blotted out the sun and the stars. Exhausted and starving, everyone on board began to lose hope that they would survive this voyage. All except for Paul. Paul stood in front of the crew and passengers and said, Men, you should have listened to me and not left Crete. But take courage. God's angel came to me last night and said that the ship will be destroyed, but all of us will survive. Even though we will be shipwrecked, God will save us. Finally, after 14 nights of fear and misery, the sailors sensed that the ship was approaching land. By measuring the water's depth, the sailors were able to tell that they were getting closer. They dropped the ship's anchors, hoping that they would stop before crashing against the rocks. Some of the terrified sailors couldn't wait to get off the ship and onto dry land, so they lowered the lifeboat to the water while pretending to lower anchors. Paul told a Roman officer what was happening and warned, Unless we all stay on this boat, you won't survive. Hearing this, the officer cut the lifeboat loose, and it fell away. 
Before the sun came up the next day, Paul urged everyone to eat so they would have strength to survive the events that would take place that day. Everyone on board knew that their voyage would end with a shipwreck. Paul could see the fear and concern on their faces, so he offered them encouragement by reminding them that God said everyone on the ship would make it safely to shore. Paul then took some bread and gave thanks to God in front of the crew and passengers. He broke it into pieces and then began to eat. Everyone on board ate until they were full and they were strengthened and encouraged. At daylight, the sailors decided to run the ship aground. They cut away the anchors and aimed the ship for the beach. The ship slammed into a sandbar that was still a bit off the island shore. The ship wouldn't budge out of the sand, and the waves began to smash what was left of the ship into pieces. The Roman soldiers wanted to kill the prisoners to stop them from swimming away and escaping. But one soldier, who wanted to spare Paul's life, stopped the others from carrying out their plan. Some prisoners jumped overboard and swam ashore, while others survived by clinging to broken pieces of ship. In the end, everyone made it safely ashore on the island of Malta. Okay, friends, welcome to Seek Craft. Each day during Anchor to VBS, we're going to make a craft that has something to do with under the sea. Okay? So today we're going to make a, um, a sea turtle. And so here's a list of the things that you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need a turtle template, which looks like this. And your parents can download this on our website under our Anchor to VBS. So that's the template you'll need. You'll need a small bowl, like a plastic bowl, like the, a paper bowl like this, some brown construction paper, uh, some scissors, some tape or glue, or maybe a stapler even, uh, any of those things will work, and some colored markers, okay? So this is what we're going to do, all right? So watch this. Okay, we're going to start off, you're going to take your... Um, your template there and you're going to cut out these pieces uh, and you probably want to color them first I, I did that right here uh, I uh, I didn't do a very good coloring job but but you can do it do that paint them or color them green however you want to and then you're just going to cut them out so I'm going to go ahead and cut these out and you can be doing the same Okay, when you're finished, you're going to take your, your paper bowl and you're going to color it if you want to. I did mine real quick. It does probably not going to look as good as yours. You can do that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to attach your pieces of the turtle to this. And you can use tape, glue, or a stapler. I'm going to use a stapler for now. I'm going to put, I'm going to put on its hind legs. Then I'm going to put the other hind leg on. That didn't work too well. Let's try that again. There we go. I'm going to put his arms on. I hope you're seeing this all right. I'm trying to video it so you can see it. And one more. Oh boy, our turtle is coming together just great, y'all. Look well, how awesome that looks. That looks great. And then what you can do is you can take some brown construction paper, like this, and then just cut some little pieces out, which I did here. And then you can glue or tape them on. I'm going to tape them on because I have tape here. Just a little tape on here.
You know, sea turtles are pretty cool. I've seen um, both. I've seen land turtles and sea turtles. Um, and they're both really cool. Um, I'm trying to think the last time. I probably was at an aquarium when the last time I saw a sea turtle. I've never seen a sea turtle like out in the wild or in the ocean or anything like that. But I have seen them in aquariums. Um, of course, you can find land turtles all over the place. I've, I've just saw one this past summer crossing the road. And he was just getting across. They're kind of slow. Turtles are awesome, aren't they? Sea turtles are awesome because they swim. And um, that would be cool to live in the ocean, don't you think? I got one more piece to stick on here. All right, my friends, there is my sea turtle. And it was made real easy. I bet yours looks way better than mine. Uh, but that was fun. And then you can keep that to remind us, you know, that sea turtles live in the ocean. And um, gosh, think of all the things that they have to weather. Uh, because if there's a storm that comes up, they have to get through that. And of course, they can just pop right back into their shell because uh, this is pretty safe for them. It's kind of like their anchor. They're anchored to that and they keep safe. But that's our sea turtle for today. Uh, I hope that you enjoy it. If you haven't finished making yours, go ahead and just uh, pause uh, the video and you can go ahead and finish or you can do it later, whichever you prefer. But that's it for Sea Crafts. We'll be back with Sea Crafts again tomorrow. Hey, welcome back. Let's go ahead and sing and celebrate what we've learned about God's faithfulness. trust God to look out for us and be with us at all time. But that doesn't mean that hard things won't happen to us. When we say God is faithful, trust God, it means we can trust. We can trust God when life gets hard. So let's try something. We're imagining what it's like to be under the water, right? So, but sometimes when people travel on top of the ocean, well, they get seasick, which we also call motion sickness. Do you get motion sickness? 
Oh boy, I sure do. Like, I can't ride in the back of a car. I, I just get dizzy. And as much as I love theme parks, um, Disney World, riding a roller coaster makes me sick. You know, the last time I went to Disney back last year, I headed over to Universal and I rode the new Haggard's roller coaster. And man, oh man, I was sick. I was so sick I had to go sit down and lay my head down on a table for a whole hour before I recovered. Motion sickness happens when your ear and your eyes get confused and your body gets confused too. You might feel like this. So go ahead, stand up and just twirl around. Go ahead, I'll wait. Twirling and twirling, I'm not gonna do it because I'll get sick. Okay, stop. Did you get dizzy? Yeah, you do. Doctors and scientists have found that one way to overcome seasickness is to focus far away on the horizon. That's the line where the sky meets the ground or sea. While things right around us are unstable, it helps keep your eyes on something that's true and unchanging. Hmm. And that makes me wonder, think of how you felt after your spinning. When does life make you feel confused, unstable, or dizzy? For me, it can be a time when things are hard or sad. Just like a few months ago, my sweet dog Abby passed away. And I had her for almost 18 years and I loved her and I was very sad when she passed. But it also makes me happy thinking about all the wonderful times that we had together. I know of a boy named Dominic who felt that way too. So let's see what Dominic discovered about God's faithfulness when he had a hard thing to do. So watch this. My name is Dominic and I'm almost 11 years old. Dominic lives with his mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa. He enjoys all kinds of hobbies, but one is his favorite. I like to build things. I also like karate a lot. I love karate because I get to really express myself and I get to have fun. And I also get to build character and build physical strength. Learning karate is hard work. Dominic practices up to three times a week. Plus, he practices at home with his dad. The hardest thing about karate is definitely a lot of push-ups, leg lifts, sit-ups. Dominic knows that he needs to trust Jesus when things get hard. There was this board breaking thing and I saw all the other kids break it with their palm right here, right here. Boom. Just didn't work out for me. Dominic failed to break the board with his hand, but he didn't give up. He continued to train and he asked Jesus to help him. And I said, I'm going to break this board. It's an obstacle in my way and let me push through it. And hi! I broke it. Another part of karate is taking tests to earn new belts. Each belt color represents a new level. Earning a new belt is hard. I was very discouraged on the first day because I was afraid it wasn't going to pass and that's what brought me down. The second day, I was feeling very, very discouraged, very, very, very sad. And I thought, I don't think I'm going to pass this and I didn't failed and I failed and I failed. Finally got to the last day that I could possibly test and I said, this isn't gonna be like those last times. I am going to pass it. I said, you know what, Jesus, Jesus can help me get through this. I'm just gonna pray to him today. I am gonna pass the test tomorrow. And I did. In the Bible, in the book of Philippians, chapter four, verse 13, it says, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. My three-day test, it was really hard. And Jesus helped me through that. I was nervous for it. If you're going through hard things, I suggest that all you need to do is just trust in God and he'll help you. Pray to God and he can get you through anything. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. When we feel worried or wobbly or uncertain or unstable, God is an anchor for us. The Bible tells us this, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love endures forever. God is faithful because He is loving and good. 
So let's celebrate our wonderful God with a song. is something you can depend on. Someone who's faithful doesn't change. You can trust that that person will do what he or she says. To be there for you and to love you. We trust that God is faithful. Trust God! You might say that God's love will always be around. So let's sing and give thanks to our trustworthy God. Everything he does He keeps his promises We know because Yeah The word of the Lord holds true We can trust him We can trust him Yeah The word of the Lord holds true We can trust him We can trust him Yeah We can count on If God will never let us down And we can trust everything He does He keeps His promises we know because Yeah, the word of the Lord holds true We can trust Him, we can trust Him Yeah, the word of the Lord holds true We can trust Him we can trust Him Yeah, the word of the Lord holds true We can trust Him We can trust Him Yeah, the word 
time bubbling about all the fun that we had today at Anchored. And I'm glad you were here, and I can't wait to see what we'll see tomorrow. So I'll see you right back here for another special Cave Kids Clubhouse in Anchored VBS. Goodbye.